comedy. No, that we celebrate the fact of moms who are funny. And we've got some funny moms here tonight. Say this about same-sex marriage, honestly. What's the problem? My husband and I have had the same sex for 26 years. <laughs> I'm a new age woman. Every time someone asks my age, I give a new one. I'm a mother of two. Okay, one's my husband. It took me a long time to get pregnant. Um, I don't know if you know, but it's difficult nowadays. The only people that can get pregnant the old-fashioned way are high school students. I have two boys. Otherwise, everything's fine. <laughs> They are killing me. They're killing me. Nobody listens. I ask them simple questions. I say, guys, where are you going? What are you doing? Hey, hey, when are you going to be back? They say, bye, Mom. Okay, whatever. They blow me off. So I'm thinking, okay, clearly I have got to change my delivery. So now I'm there, where are you going? What are you doing? When are you going to be? When are you going to be? When are you going to be? Bad. Blah, 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 blah. Bad. tell you whatever you want to know. <laughs> Don't ever, ever do that again, Mom. <laughs> like, it's my fault. They did this to me. They like the rap music. I'm like, guys, we live in Greenwich, Connecticut. How ghetto can you and your J. Crew shirts get? <laughs> I hate Puerto Rican and Italian, and my mother could speak two languages at the same time. When I was growing up, I had no idea what she was saying. She'd turn to me and go, listen, no me da pena, I don't have time for this canal. You know what I'm saying, so don't. What? <laughs> I mean, it's really, and then she had these mom cliches she used to tell me, or glitches, as she called them. She goes, Nancy, listen to these glitches, it's going to change your life. <laughs> Mira, the cork doesn't fall far from the bottle. <laughs> you got to take the bees with the honey. Every clown has a silver lining. What are you talking about? Charming ended up with Shrek. <laughs> there should be a TV show called Amazing Moms. Not Amazing Race. Amazing Moms. It's three o'clock. You have three children to get to three separate sporting events. So you get in your SUV and you race from location to location to location, dropping each one off, only to get a phone call from your husband saying, Adi! I told my boss about your famous rack of lamb and he's coming home for dinner. <gasps> you panic and go back and pick up each child from location to location to location, packing them in the car, getting home in time to find out the butcher's shop is closed. So what do you do? You improvise and cook the dog. Why? Because you're an amazing mom!
couples therapy. I go, he travels a lot, so I go alone. <laughs> I think we're getting closer. The other day he calls me from Paris. Paris. He says, I just got back from a dinner cruise along the Seine. What did you do today? <laughs> what did I do today? I kept them alive. That's what I did today. <laughs> what I did yesterday is what I'll do tomorrow. Are you eating a croissant? Choke on it. <laughs> and, and then when I was little, my Spanish grandmother used to take me to see these Spanish horror films, made even more horrific by the fact I didn't speak Spanish. But I always knew who the villain in the film was because she was always that scary woman, all dressed in black, her hair always in a bun. She'd always be standing at the top of a tall, winding staircase. In her hand, she'd be holding a mysterious box. At the bottom of the staircase would be a beautiful young woman who'd say something like, Hola, ¿dónde está mi esposo? And the woman at the top of the stairs would go, Tu esposo está aquí. She'd open the box. Eep. Inside of it, a man's head. Ayúdame! Ayúdame! The head would follow the box, bounce down the stairs, boop, boop, land on feet. She'd go, over the top of the stairs would go, ha, 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 ha. And that was every film I saw over and over again as a child. Okay, kids, mommy's gonna read you The Three Little Pigs. Once we're talking The Three Little Pigs, one little pig like to sing, the second little pig like to dance, the third little pig like to sit, like, then a big man wants to go, little pig, 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 War and peace. Thank you very much. Awkward baby and your family too. You're all so cute and it's DJ, but I just don't want to say it. You just gotta get a lot of things. I think I got a special prize here too coming up and it's really nice that you're here. Tip your waitresses heavily. They want to escape soon and be.